Then it's Kendrick Nunn. Then it's Autobio in at the five down low. And for Los Angeles, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Drummond in at the five, roaming the paint. And as impressive as the numbers were for Jimmy Butler in the bubble, they don't begin to tell the whole story. He, he was hitting clutch shots for the Heat during that run in the postseason. And so the Los Angeles Lakers get the first points of the ball game. Pass to Robinson. Ariza against Davis. And there's the call on James. That is his first foul of the game. And that's a quick foul for him there. It looks like the refs are going to call this one pretty close. Good ball movement here by Miami. Connects from three-point range. You know, Greg, going back to Jimmy Butler, it felt like each series he had a few big shots. I mean, everything you want from your leader. The big shots, motivating others, setting an example with his play. Butler played as well as any leader in the postseason. Here's none following the basket by Anthony Davis. And this is too easy for Adebayo. Once he's close to the rim, he is going to damage it. That bucket in in no time at all. Caldwell Pope's got five. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. None passes to Butler. And he makes that one. Oh, he uses good strength and body control to finish around the rim. Butler's a force around the basket. James, that's a two-pointer. Davis. Davis on the follow. Davis has got his second basket. They've come out with guns blazing. Four for five from the field. They've got the deep rim. None passes to Butler. Back to none. Here's the three. That shot misses. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Here's Caldwell Pope. Robinson with the block. And here we go. It's Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. Getting out on the break. Butler completes the transition play. The Lakers have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. And it's Schroeder missing. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Oh, trying to take advantage of that extra space on the perimeter. Oh, we see a lot of this now. Now, here's none. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. Oh, yeah, that's one of his go-to spots. I mean, you have to pressure him in that mid-range area. And so it's none with it. He brings it up for the Miami Heat. And there's the pass to Ariza. Davis with the double team. Oh, to the Parada Bio. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. With strong athleticism, Adebayo can finish just about any lob with his large catch radius. It's Drummond, high post. Over Adebayo. And it's Drummond missing. Miami's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Robinson with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Adebayo. Good, and the assist time goes out, to Robinson. Out. Autobio's got six points. Dre Drummond. Kyle Kuzma comes in for LeBron. Wesley Matthews checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. And a new group in for the Heat. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Bam Autobio. Iguodala comes in for Trevor Ariza. Tyler Hero, he's checked in for Robinson. And it's Drogic in for Kendrick Nunn. Here's Drogic following the basket by Anthony Davis. And that one drops. Lakers trail by four. Shoots a fader, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. And he's caught fire this quarter, yet to miss a shot. To the paint. Shots good by Deadman. They are just killing him on the interior. For Los Angeles, they've gone 7 to 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. And it's Harrell missing. Heat leading by four. And, and taken with the 30th pick back in 2011, Jimmy Butler went from 15th man in Chicago, riding the end of the bench, to franchise player in the course of four seasons.
A fantastic Mobile One block. This one deserves another look. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Now here's Matthews. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Goran Dragic grabs the board. Shots good by Hero. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. And Greg, it seemed in Chicago and Minnesota, maybe Jimmy Butler wore out his welcome. Philadelphia, they had him. He had to juggle multiple stars. But, man, Miami, the Heat handed him the keys, and he has taken off. And, Kevin, he's shown himself worthy, lifting them to a top seed in the East and himself into the MVP conversation. Here's Deadman, and Deadman throws it down. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Hope they get it back. Here's Davis. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. He can't miss. Well, he leading by four. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Rogic kicks the butt. Passes it to Hero. Shoots from the baseline. And another basket for Miami. Great work to find the space to get off the open jump. He's going to work hard for them. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot too. They get Andre Iguodal. He's so skilled at finding ways to get to the line. Hey, staying aggressive and going at the D. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Here's Drogic from outside, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't function at the offensive end, and adding more to his game every day. Yeah, I mean, he's been focused on improving the defense and rebounding, and much of that is due to the players he's been surrounded by. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And what stands out to you guys from the heat in this one? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, how many coaches say, you want to start fast? Now, let's see if they can maintain that intensity. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. So the Lakers five right now. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. Then it's Matthews, and it's Caruso in at the point. Well, I think Jimmy Buckets has underrated vision. He's more than capable of spotting open teammates and distributing the court. Fires top of the key. Caruso, no good. Well, he leading by eight. Here's Butler. Iguodala dishes to Deadman. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Lakers have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Davis has got 16 points. Oh, so tough to contain Davis when he's on a roll. He's got the physicality and Listen, it starts with stability across the board, but mainly that means at the top. And you got to give this new front office, this new regime, an opportunity. I think they got some good young pieces. Uh, but title contenders are not in a constant state of flux right now. They've got to take their baby steps here and start moving in the right direction. Like you say, it does begin in the front office. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Robinson's got three assists in the game. Kuzma, left side, over a reason. That's good, and the Heat lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Kuzma. The timing, the precision. You got to respect Kuzma's ability to drain shots off the pass. Now, here is Robinson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Knocked loose. Deep. And it's Schroeder missing. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. That is his first foul of the game. The Heat leading by eight. Luggage looking it over. And stolen by Drummond. Yeah, that's two really unproductive trips in a row ending in turnover. That one good for two. Nine points in the game so far. 
excellent court awareness. James has always had terrific instincts as a playmaker. And at last season's trade deadline, Andre Drummond traded away basically for a second round pick. A shockingly low return for a guy who was once considered a franchise player. Now, here's none. Six points for him. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Shot on the wing. Miami grabs the miss. And Greg, why is it that the Pistons got so little in exchange for Drummond? Well, I, I think he was an impending free agent. I think Detroit looking to rebuild. Also, it says something about the center position in today's game. Harrell, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. They get a hand on it, and stolen by Harrell. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. With the fadeaway. Offensive rebound. Great positioning on the putback. And those are exactly the kinds of plays that can spark a team. Just solid work down in the paint. Outside Robinson. Pass to none. The dish to Dragic. Adebayo finds Robinson. Miami no good on that time either. Oh, you expect him to make those. They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. LeBron's shot is good. Physical D. <laughs> when LeBron, the body control, the focus, it really doesn't matter. And stolen by Drummond. Here is Robinson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. He dishes it to Dragic. Ariza, right side, trying to end the drought. And Adebayo with the lay-in. That's now eight points for Bam Adebayo. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And it's Drummond missing. Miami leading by four. Pass to Nunn. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Nunn's got eight points. His individual effort has been outstanding tonight, and it's helped him grab the lead. And it's Drummond missing. And it's Dragic with the ball for the Miami Heat. Goes up to the stripe. Almost, but it rolls out. He makes a lot more of those than he misses. Not sure what threw him off right there. They get the rebound. Drummond gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. Second chance points have really been an issue here defensively. For Miami, they've gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. None bounce pass. Robinson with it. He's picked up by James. The pass to Autobio. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second 